Make your own blood-sucking sturge! Alright crafters, to start we're going to use this topiary and I bought this at the craft store and it just has a bunch of these little plants and I use these all the time for uh, making vegetation but I'm going to actually use these for the wings of the sturge, right? So I cut off two leaves each on a branch and those will make perfect small little double wings for these sturges I think. Alright, cool. So now I'm going to use a toothpick. I've bent the toothpick and uh, broken it off and I'm just going to put a little glob of glue for the head and this stuff's kind of like water like it has a surface tension kind of thing as long as it's molten and it'll kind of form into a ball so I did like the head there okay and after that dries I'll hold that and then start the body so I'll put the top on there and while that's molten I'll uh, pop the little uh, leaves on there for wings so get them into position alright sweet and then I'll do the underside you want to make sure you connect both blobs so it looks like a whole body there and the back there and then I'm going to put it on the base and stand it up. Cool. Alright, now I'll just uh, put a little bit on the top uh, to make sure the wings are secure and uh, do the tail there and it's ready to go. Now let's uh, show you how to do that base. Alright? Simple, simple. Okay, the base is just a half inch washer and I'm going to put a little uh, glob of glue in there and then start building out from that and get some texture and then poke a tack nail in there and make sure it's secure and this will make a perfect little stand for this thing right okay now that's dry or uh, solid I'll pull it off uh, pull off a little excess uh, wisp there and now I'm gonna do some edging on the base so just go around just uh, so it's not totally round let that harden up and now it has a point on the tack nail, so I need to take that off. So I'm going to use a, just a wire cutter and snip that spike off the top of the nail. And i got a perfect little stand. Uh, now I'm going to paint it. I've spray painted it flat black. And I'm going to use this coral color because they have this weird fleshy color. And I want to kind of emulate that. So I'm going to use this coral color. I thought it would be perfect for these guys. Paint the body up. Be careful not to get it on the stand. All right. Looking good. Now I'm going to paint the base a just a regular gray here because they mostly uh, stay in caves and that kind of thing so at least that's where I mostly use them so I'll paint the base uh, like a cave like stone there we go nice easy enough let that dry up now I'm going to use this burgundy and do a nice wash on the surge and I'll kind of give it some nice coloration and bring out the detail in those those leaf wings and that kind of thing so, yeah, really liking that. So it's not just a bright orange there. All right, now I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to use a toothpick and just uh, put some eyes on the sucker. Just pop them right on the head there. Nice, looking great. All right, now I'm going to do a little dry brushing or a little uh, uh, highlight on the base. Uh, a little lighter gray on there. Give some variation on the base. And we are ready for the table. Wow, so easy and quick, but it looks, looks great. Hey guys, so here's the finished Sturge. I think it looks great. The coloring looks really cool. Uh, nice little base there and stand. Uh, so easy to do. The wings look great. I uh, didn't put the legs on because I assume they're tucked up underneath, but you could also do that. And I think it's a great little project for doing these sturges that are so hard to find as miniatures. Hey, I hope you find these tips helpful. If you did, give your old DM Scotty a thumbs up, and that'd be a like. Uh, also, uh, check out my forum and Facebook group. A bunch of wonderful people on there. And uh, if you do like these vids, consider tipping. There is a little tip thing on the video. You can click on that and tip directly to your DM Scotty. And if you want to go take it further than that, you can go to uh, Patreon and become a supporter and a member of the family. Uh, I have a uh, monthly magazine called The Crafter's Lair, which you'll have instant access to when you become a supporter. Take care. Have fun gaming. Hey, get out of here, you bloodsucker! <laughs>